All right, welcome back, Movie Masters. Today we are talking the battle of the laptops or the iPads or, well, let's talk about the latest technology. The M4 is now out in the MacBook Pro and the iPad and all the other versions. So I wanted to do a test of to see actually how much faster these are compared to, let's say, some older models. So previously, I had a MacBook Pro M1, just your stock standard one, one terabyte hard drive, 16 gig of RAM. At the time when it came out, it was blazing fast compared to the older i5, i7. This thing was next level. Now, after a while, I upgraded my cameras, I had high bit rates, high resolutions, and I needed something faster. And then the iPad announced that they were having an M4 Pro. So here is the iPad M4 Pro, um, one terabyte with 16 gig of RAM. And I have done a performance test between the new M4 Pro Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM. I have then also done a test with my M1 Pro with 16 gig of RAM. And then I have done my M4 iPad Pro with 16 gig of RAM. I have done a benchmark graphics test on each of the three, the exact same program, and I'll show you the scores and they might surprise you. And then I also did a real world test where I have the latest movie I've been working on and I exported it on each three different devices and I will show you the time and you can guess which one is which. Okay, so here I am running the 3D benchmark test. Now this is called the Steel Nomad Light Test and I'm running this on all three devices. Obviously you can kind of pick which is going to be the M4 Max, the one that is, well, 60 frames a second. But the other two make a very close comparison. So now let's take a look at the actual stats. So here you'll see the stats for the iPad Pro and it has an overall score of 3,600. Now next we have the iPad M4 Max and that came in at a whopping 8,000. And as you can see, it beats 99% of, well, everything. And then finally, we have the M1 Pro. And the score surprisingly is actually just below the iPad Pro. Although, let's now put it to a real-world test. Okay, here, so for this test, I am rendering my movie on all three different devices, and each one will have a different speed. Now, I'm rendering this off an external hard drive, and the M1 Pro and the M4 iPad do come in at about a similar time, but, of course, the M4 Max just blows this thing out the water and renders an hour and 20 long minute movie in about 20 minutes, which I found mind blowing. Now I actually ran this test twice and the first time I actually got about 15 minutes. Now on the M1 MacBook Pro, it took just under an hour and on the iPad, it took about an hour and five minutes. So I was actually surprised Originally, I thought I might get a bit more speed out of this, but at the end of the day, it is an iPad. It's not built for that. It is fast, and I can now edit on the go, and it pretty much does replace my old M1, especially when I don't want to cart around such an expensive laptop with me. But anyway, these are the results that I got. I hope this has helped you decide on what model that you want to get. Maybe you want to get that extra bit of RAM. I or maybe you want that extra bit of hard drive space. But I will say, it all does come at a cost. So do you have one of these new toys? Is it all that you hoped it to be? Or was there something more? Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll do some more tests and get back to you. See you next time. Keep on movie making.